In this video, we'll walk through each of the system settings on your new Pioneer AVH-110BT. So from any source, and I'm on the AM-FM radio source right now, I'm going to touch the gears up here. And we are on the speaker or the audio settings right now. Let's go up to the toolbox or the wrench and the screwdriver, and that is our system settings. The first thing we see here is the AV source settings. Let's select that. Under the AV source settings, we see the radio settings and we see the local seek function for the radio settings. This is a filter to filter out the weakest radio stations, but there's a full video on how to operate the AM FM tuner built into the AVH-110BT. Please be sure to check out that tuner video, AM FM tuner video for AVH-110BT. We're going to go back up and here we have Bluetooth audio is switched on for right now. Let's switch Bluetooth audio off. Now, if I switch Bluetooth audio off, let's go out to the home screen. And here in the home screen, we want to select the Bluetooth audio source, but you can see it's grayed out and we can't get to it. That's because we switched it off in that system settings. So let's go back to the gears here and under AV source settings, let's switch Bluetooth audio on and we'll go back again out to the home screen to check. There's Bluetooth audio. We can select that as a source now if we want. Let's go back to the settings. Next up is our auxiliary input, and the auxiliary input is on the back of this receiver, and it can play back audio and video uh, through a 3.5 millimeter cable. And if you want, you can switch this on or off. You can see right now, auxiliary input is switched off. Let's go out to the home screen. You can see you can't select auxiliary input here as a source. We'll go out to the gears and switch auxiliary input on and go back to the home screen. And now you can see auxiliary input is available as a source. Let's go back uh, to our system settings. Next up is our camera settings. And for more information about the camera settings, be sure to check out the full video that uh, shows you how to set up your camera, your backup camera for the AVH-110BT. We'll go back up. Next up is our system language. Here you can see you have a number of different languages to choose from and all of the text that you'll see on the screen will be in that language. So a word of caution here, please be sure that you can read that language before you select it on the screen. For right now, I'm going to select English and go back up. Next up is our restore settings here, but you can see restore settings is grayed out. We can't get to it. That means we have to engage the parking brake on the vehicle. When we engage the parking brake, restore settings becomes available. This will restore everything back to the factory default. And when you, uh, I'm not going to hit that button now because I don't want to restore the settings. I'm just going to go back up here and I'm going to take the parking brake off. Let's uh, scroll down to our next set of settings, our next group of settings here. Next up is the beep tone. We can choose to switch that beep tone that you hear every time you touch the screen on or off right here. Next up is the touch panel calibration, and the touch panel was calibrated at the factory before the product was shipped. But if you're having trouble with the touch panel, be sure to sit in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat wherever you tend to sit to operate this product and go through the touch panel calibration. I'm going to engage the parking brake and we can get to the touch panel calibration and you can touch yes here to begin the touch panel calibration process. For right now, I'm going to, I'm going to select no and go back. Next up is our dimmer settings, and there are three different ways that you can trigger the dimmer for the in-dash receiver. Auto, manual, or time. There is a full video on how to use the dimmer uh, for this in-dash receiver, Pioneer AVH-110BT. Be sure to check out the dimmer video uh, for this receiver. And finally, on the bottom here, we have picture adjustment, but again, that's grayed out. Let's engage the parking brake. When I engage the parking brake, picture adjustment becomes available, and I can adjust the picture for the source view that you see back here. And if I choose brightness, I can uh, also choose contrast, and I, I can choose the dimmer brightness as well, then back around to brightness. I can make the brightness here a little brighter or a little less bright uh, for my source screen. We'll go back to zero for right now. I'm gonna go back up and I can touch the camera up here. Now there's no camera connected to this in-dash receiver right now, so you're just gonna see a black screen, but I can adjust the brightness and the color contrast on the camera, contrast and color on the camera, as well as that source screen. And we'll go back to the source screen here. 
When you're done making your adjustments there, you can go back up. And when you're done with your system settings adjustments, you can hit the X to escape.